Jeremy Corbyn, the Labour leader, has been anti-EU for, for the past 30 years. I think on quite good reasons in, in some ways, because his claim is that the EU has become a neoliberal instrument uh, to, to hollow out the welfare state uh, from within. Uh, whereas, say, social democrats would say, no, the EU is the best way to preserve the welfare state. The hard left considers the EU a lost cause. It's, like it's now become so captured by corporate interests and lobbying, and, and they, have, they have very good arguments. I mean, almost all members of the Commission, like Manuel Barroso, who was almost the most important um, official in the EU, went on to work for Goldman Sachs. Almost all of them go off to very lucrative jobs in, in big business. So the hard left has a number of good reasons. Uh, to, to go out, but they, they, haven't, they have never quite faced up to the fact that if they lost the battle on the European level, why would they win it on a national level? And now, and they, I think the hard left has always considered itself an interesting counterpoint. They never quite prepared for power. And it was by mistake that uh, Jeremy Corbyn became the leader of the Labour Party. He never quite planned for it. He was just put on the ballot and then to his surprise he won. So he doesn't have a plan either. But he's always been against. And so it's hard for him to move. But then he leads a party that either wants to stay or wants a soft Brexit. But there's always his, his, own, his own cadre that is, hard, that is um, for hard Brexit. And he also has a number of plans that can only be put into practice, like nationalization, um, if, they, uh, if they go out. So the, the Labour Party is as torn as the Tory party. It's a real, a real mess.